Good morning. We just had a, a ministerial meeting of the Joint Commission, and uh, I will read uh, to you the joint. <laughs> you can't silence the UN General Assembly Ministerial Week. <laughs> uh, I will read uh, to you the joint ministerial statement uh, on the implementation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. A ministerial meeting of the E3 EU plus two. China, France, Germany, the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom, and Iran took place on the 25th of September 2019 in New York to discuss the implementation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA. The meeting was chaired by the EU High Representative, Federica Mogherini, that's me, on behalf of the European Union. Participants recalled that the JCPOA, as endorsed by the UN Security Council Resolution 2231, of 2015 remains a key element of the global nuclear non-proliferation architecture and a significant achievement of multilateral diplomacy. They underlined the importance of the full and effective implementation of the JCPOA by all sides and confirmed their determination to continue all efforts to preserve the agreement which is in the interests of all. Hi, uh, hi, Rod. Thanks for this. Um, two questions. I can't hear you. <laughs> you really can't? Okay. Um, first of all, do you believe, after the efforts made this week, that we are closer to a meeting and some talks between Iran and the United States? And secondly, despite what that statement says, with every two months Iran moves further away from the accord, do you believe that Iran is close to abandoning this deal? I will not comment on the possibility of uh, meetings that are not uh, uh, part at the moment of the JCPOA framework. I'm here to brief you uh, as uh, uh, in my role uh, as a facilitator of the agreement and negotiations first and now as a guarantor somehow of the implementation of the agreement. Uh, what I can say is that uh, uh, I believe that we all welcome the efforts that have been made uh, to um, open channels of dialogue and that uh, it is extremely clear that anything that is based on the full implementation, on the full respect of the JCPOA and that can build on it uh, is very much welcomed. Um, but clearly this is another framework and uh, the meeting today I think uh, reaffirms very clearly uh, from uh, all of the participants to the meeting, uh, all at ministerial level apart from uh, uh, the British colleague that, as you know, had to fly back to London, uh, the strong commitment from all the participants uh, to the uh, Joint Commission uh, that, uh, uh, first of all, the agreement is still in place, uh, that we will continue to work together uh, with unity of purpose to try and preserve it, without ignoring the challenges. Uh, as you know, the agreement has two pillars, the nuclear commitments and the economic uh, side that is linked to the uh, sanction lifting. Uh, on both elements, there is full determination to try and preserve the agreement. On both elements, there are challenges, and there is a will to try and preserve the deal. I will not hide that it is uh, increasingly difficult to do it, uh, and we have discussed today uh, that fact that we will try to continue um, keeping the agreement in place and overcome the difficulties that we're facing. Uh, I think this uh, answer your questions. What I believe, what I believe is that every step that uh, has been taken so far by Iran, and I underline so far, is reversible. We have constantly called upon Iran to reverse these decisions and go back to full compliance, which has been the case till recently, uh, because this is in the interest of all, in the interests of all. Uh, let me add, this is in the security interest, uh, for sure, of all of us. It's also in the economic interest of Iran. So I believe that, uh, um, uh, I hope, I'm not sure I believe, but I hope uh, that rationality will prevail. Uh, and that uh, um, 
this meeting today will contribute to uh, preserving uh, the agreement uh, also in the future. I thank you very much. I'm sorry, I have to move to the next meeting. Sorry. Is the 15 of your French debt, is the French proposal debt?